Surprising facts about Prohibition gangster Dutch Schultz. Like many mobsters, Schultz flourished during Prohibition, owning most speakeasies in the Bronx and controlling the supply of alcohol, earning him the name the Beer Baron of the Bronx. Similarly to how Elliot Ness and the Untouchables indicted Al Capone on income tax evasion, Hungry and Eager Special Prosecutor Thomas E. Dewey pinned the same crime on Dutch Schultz. After requesting a meeting with Lucky Luciano and the newly formed commission, Dutch Schultz then requested the green light to whack Dewey. The commission knew how much unwanted heat this would bring down on their operation and opted against it. Apparently at this point in the meeting upon hearing the decision, Dutch lost his temper and vowed to whack Dewey himself, leaving the commission with no choice. On October the 24th, 1935, at his new headquarters, the Palace Chop House in New Jersey, Dutch and his crew were met by a rain of bullets from two hitmen sent on orders from the commission. Dutch died the next day after spouting a few hours of incoherent babble, which has now gone down in history as Dutch Schultz's last words, and some skeptics believe that it does contain clues to a hidden $7 million treasure in upstate New York.